Hi everybody, welcome to VLSI Point. So in today's video, we are going to talk about job opportunities in electronics field. So if you are an BTEC ECE student and still confused whether you should continue in electronics field or you should switch to the software side, then this video is for you. Well, if you are new here, then subscribe VLSI Point to get the related content. As we all know, electronic industry is growing in India. But 10 years back or 15 years back, scenario was not same. That time, electronic sector in India was not that strong and opportunities was comparatively very less. There are mainly two types of students. First type of students are those who are really interested in electronics field and want to make their career in this domain. And second type of students are those who have just chosen electronics engineering because they were not getting CSE. And yes, it is true. Presently, CSE and ECE are the most demanding branch. So many students are choosing electronics engineering just because they are not getting CSE because of their low rank. And yes, it is true that uh, switching from electronics to software is quite simple if you are in ECE. But guys, now the scenario has changed. Electronic industry is growing in India and in upcoming years, it will boom. You can see some latest updates by the Economic Times. India needs 3 lakh skilled professionals for semiconductor industry by 2027. Electronic industry in India is expected to become a $100 billion industry by 2030. The expansion is poised to generate approximately 1 million global jobs by 2025 and 2026, aligning with India's broader economic and industrial growth objectives. Next update is India's electronic manufacturing is likely to reach around $250 billion in next five years. The government is planning to address the issue of unemployment by creating jobs in the electronic manufacturing sector. Presently, 25 lakh people are employed in this sector. And in the next five years, the government intends to double the number of jobs in this sector, according to the media reports. Another update is India becomes second largest manufacturer of mobile phones globally. The electronics manufacturing industry has met the targets it set a decade ago and has become the second largest manufacturer of the mobile phones in the world and producing devices worth 4.1 lakh crores. So with all these reports, one thing is clear that in near future, there will be ample opportunities in electronics field. So we can say that electronic industry in India is on a growth trajectory, supported by favorable policies, increasing domestic demand and significant investments. While challenges remain, the sector's potential for innovation and global integration positions it as a key driver of India's economic and technological advancement. Pursuing a career in electronics engineering in 2024 offers a range of opportunities. From working on cutting-edge technologies to getting benefit from the supportive government initiatives. The field promises strong growth, diverse applications and the chance to make a significant impact through technological advancements. So if you are passionate about electronics, then this career path can be both promising and rewarding for you. Now we will see some reasons why joining electronics engineering in 2024 is promising, why it is worth. First is strong industry growth. In electronic industry, the market is expanding from consumer electronics, telecommunication, healthcare, automotive sector and industrial automation. With an increasing reliance on gadgets like smartphones, tablets and wearables, the demand of electronics is surging. As technologies evolve, so does the need for new and improved electronic devices. The rollout of 5G networks, then innovation in electric vehicles, medical electronics including the diagnostic equipments and wearable health monitors. Electronics play a critical role in manufacturing and industrial processes driving efficiency and innovation. Next is government initiatives and incentives. Make in India, Digital India, these kind of initiatives are also helping to grow the electronic industry in India. 
PLI that is production linked incentive scheme offer incentives to the companies who are increasing the manufacturing of electronics goods domestically this initiative aims to make india a global manufacturing hub also these schemes are expected to create numerous job opportunities in manufacturing assembly quality control and supply chain management Atmanirbhar Bharat is an initiative focuses on promoting local manufacturing and reducing dependence on imports. It includes support for setting up electronics park and R&D centers leading to job creation in these areas. Next is technological advancement. So emerging technologies like 5G, internet of things, artificial intelligence, machine learning, these all technologies are part of our day-to-day -day life. Engineers are involved in developing next generation smart devices from home assistants to advanced personal gadgets. Robotics and automated systems in manufacturing and service industries depend heavily on electronics engineering. Next is career opportunities and job security. So with rapid expansion of electronic industry in India, this field is demanding skilled engineers who have expertise in various specializations. So as a result, you can get competitive salary and benefits in this field. Also, electronics engineering skills are globally recognized, offering opportunities to make the international companies or on global projects. So all these points are proving that it is worth joining electronics engineering in 2024. This field offers diverse career opportunities in healthcare, automotive vehicles, semiconductor industry, telecommunication, and much more. Semiconductor industry is about designing and manufacturing chips for various applications. Consumer electronics is nothing but working on devices like smartphones, tablets, and smart home appliances. Telecommunication is basically an involvement in the design and maintenance of communication systems and networks. In automotive industry, developing electronics for modern vehicles including the autonomous driving technologies. Healthcare is about designing medical devices and diagnostic equipments. So overall, we can say electronics engineering is offering robust career opportunities with a high career growth to all the proactive students who are willing to start career in this field, who are passionate about the electronic devices and willing to learn the new trends. So guys, till now in this video, we have seen the current scenario and the future opportunities in electronics field. So being a BTEC or MTech student, what you have to do, you have to focus on your skills. Learn all the fundamental subjects properly, learn tools and stay updated with industry trend. And also keep on updating your knowledge related to the electronics. Now there is one problem with this industry. Tier 1 college students can easily get placed into the core electronics, but what about tier 2 and tier 3 colleges? Because hardly any core electronics company visit there for the placement. So in that condition, what those students can do? So guys, along with your college placement, you should actively focus on off-campus placement also because it's not that complicated to get placed with the off-campus placement drive. I have already provided a dedicated video on off-campus placements, how you have to apply for jobs or internships, how you can easily get that. So check out this video and if you have any doubt, do let me know in the comment box. If today's video have given you a motivation to start career in electronics, then hit the like button and share this video with all your friends who are having the same doubt related to ECE versus CSE. Subscribe BLSI point if videos are helpful to you guys. I don't know why you guys are not subscribing. You can see here the subscribed versus unsubscribed ratio. You guys are watching videos but don't know why you are not subscribing. So it's completely free of cost. Do subscribe it guys. Do support BLSI point. See you soon in the next video. Let me know in the comment box on which topic you want the next video.